half a mil, baby. Stop, please. Give it up for yourself. No, that's okay. More for me. Yeah, more for me. That's good. Oh, it feels good. It feels nice. Hey, it's me, Yub. And who would have thought that we'd be here? <laughs> Not me. 500 freaking thousand of you no life nerds have subscribed to my channel and I would not have anything without you guys. Let me make it clear up here at the front of this video. Thank you. Not thank me. Not thank YouTube. These are both things we can thank, but today I'm thanking you. When I started making gameplay videos January 1st of 2014, I truly didn't think I could make it to this. I knew I could do something. Like I was like, I'll do a little something like 2000. I never thought I could get to half a million. Can we hit 1 million though? Like, <coughs> listen on YouTube, you're not anybody until you have a full million and I will not rest until we hit a full million. We're coming for you, PewDiePie. No one is safe. Before we get into this whole reacting to all videos, doo doo nonsense I'm about to make, I wanted to say right here, a lot of you guys watch me a lot and you, you view me as like this special, like, oh, he's a YouTuber. Like, yeah, that's why he can do that. If I can make it to half a million, you can make it to half a million. If you're willing to put in the work and you have at least one molecule in your body that is funny or interesting, spoiler, everybody does, then you can also do this. Don't think that it's too late. Don't think that there's no, that all the subscribers have already been taken. I'm living proof, baby. 500,000 people. Why? Anyways, I thought today we would look at some old, old, old vintage yub and react to it because I was supposed to do that for 400,000 subscribers, but your boy did not do that. Low key, I hate milestone videos. I don't know why. I don't like milestone videos. I don't like special like Christmas videos, Thanksgiving videos. I don't like them. So let's do one. Come on. I'm gonna go to Yub. Bam. 501k. Feels great. I'm gonna go to sort by oldest. Bam. I see that a few of you guys have found these old ones. This was in like 2005. I was just uploading videos of skateboarding stuff I was doing for fun. Here's the first YouTube video I ever posted. I'm pretty, yeah, this is a Luby's parking lot, by the way. We would skate there the, all night. They never made us stop. I don't know why. We were not doing what we we're supposed to be doing. I'm sorry, 2006, I uploaded this. So I made my account in 2005 and did nothing, apparently. And then I made this. I probably couldn't do that right now. <laughs> it's not cool. Did I just slow-mo an ollie? Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, whatever. So basically, you can see when I started YouTube, I wasn't doing it like, yeah, I'm going to be a YouTuber because people weren't really doing that in 2006. I just wanted to post stuff I made, skate videos or whatever. I posted them and then that's where they were. I don't know. It's just, I put them on there. So you could see I made a few of these. This is when I was touring with my band a long time ago. Okay. Before anything happened, look at the hair. Like this guy likes some 41, hundred percent. I'm 32 minus 13. So I was 19, 19. This guy's 19. Watch this. There you go. Did you catch that? that? When the guitar started is when I was supposed to start, but I messed up and I still posted it. There you go. You can see on my face how annoyed I was that I did that. I'd like to point out we could barely afford food at this time, but I was sure affording some hair gel. Next. So yeah, skateboarding and like some music videos, some drum cover type of stuff. Oh, Where's this? 2009. 10 years ago. 2019 Yub versus 2009 Yub. What do you think? Nice freaking v-neck. This guy wants to be so cute. My face is a triangle. Why did I post this? Why did I post this? You know why? Because I thought I looked cute. That's why I posted this. Some things never change. 
that's a joke. I firmly believe that if you want to be funny, you have to give up on being cute or attractive. Why did I post this? I got a hat on. We had tutoring sessions. I got a hat on. Okay, I just like to point out that I've been doing ear rape since 2009. You saw it here first, the ear rape. I got a hat on. I got a hat on. <laughs> who post? Who po Content. I got a hat on. I have always liked hats. You can really start to see the transition here from fun-loving Sum 41 skater boy into emo long hair band guy. Yeah! Hey! Yeah! All right, anyways, enough of that. This is not what you're here for. Look, all these, you can find these on my channel for yourself. Catch up on those. It's a gold mine of embarrassment. I will not delete them ever. All right, literally right here, this one. Call of Duty Ghosts Part 1. I'm bad. I had been watching, like, I'd seen PewDiePie. I'd seen Tobuscus. I had seen Cryotic. Th those are kind of the big three kill clicks. I'd been watching them, and I'd been thinking for a long time, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but I'd been thinking, watching PewDiePie especially. I was just watching his videos, Tobuscus videos, people like that. I could do that. I wanted to do it for like two years before I started it, but I was like, I don't know how to record the stuff. I don't know how to like uh, do the editing. Really what got it going is I was recording bands out of my mom's house at the time. You can see here, like I have like all the microphones set up and everything. I used to record some bands. Yeah, used to be a guy. Now I'm still a guy. Hey. So I used to record bands and Megan, whom I'm now married to, at the time was just my girlfriend, got me a PC off of Craigslist, which I still use, by the way. I've just updated everything on it. This guy right here, still use it for everything. We got it off Craigslist in 2014 for like $400. Meg surprised me with that computer for my birthday because I was using an old MacBook at the time and it was having a really hard time recording the bands and people are like paying me to record their band i've got this busted old macbook anyways megan got me the pc and i said on jan i'm pretty sure this was january 1st hold on what day was this on look at this december 30th so basically january 1st 2014 the first day of 2014 i basically said to myself i'm starting now i'm going to make gameplay videos and i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna try to post a video every day and i remember telling megan this was my selling point i said what if i told you i could pay our cell phone bill by playing video games. And she was like, I don't really think you can, but I support you trying. And that support right there is really what changed everything. Because if I had had a girlfriend who was like, that's stupid, obviously you're not going to make it, which she probably did feel like in her heart, but she supported me. And I don't really think I would have gotten to 500,000 or anywhere if it wasn't for my girlfriend, who's now my wife, supporting me. So if you got a significant other that has dreams like that, you better support them. What's up, guys? Um, I'm Dylan. This is my first gameplay video. Literally said, I'm Dylan. Also, hold on. We are starting Call of Duty Ghosts in the middle of the freaking game, but calling it part one. That's how much of a just an impulse buy me starting gameplay videos was that I was in the middle of playing through this game on my own time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to record this. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts. I just got a PC. I don't think I even uh, first edited time this. I've ever played you are dead. Oh, still this is still a cutscene. Okay, for, we're one minute into the video and it's just a cutscene and I'm talking over it. I can barely hear the mic. Okay, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you. Kiss me, Dad. <laughs> okay, did I have an outro? No outro. Not good at yep. the game. You feel like your videos are bad starting out. Just remember that so are mine. I think part two, my second video, I added a face cam. I remember because I used my cell phone. I think I had an iPhone 5 and I just propped it up in front of my monitor. It's like looking up my nose. Hello and welcome to... What a intro. To Yub Plays. This is part two of Call of Duty Ghosts. First of all, look at this freaking guy. Who is this? I played it. Amazing transition. That's okay. Nice face cam. I especially like how the light blocks my head and you can't... It looks like I'm descending from heaven. We cannot hear your mic, buddy, at all. I think this one, the final countdown, was the first time I tried actually editing something in. Hold on. 
Welcome back to Yub Plays Call of Duty Ghosts. Okay, I just want to point out, like, the people that say <laughs> this face right here. I miss old Yum Lang. His sense of humor used to be different. Wrong. Still dead inside right here. Still self-aware of how dumb this entire thing is. Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> Wait for it. I can jump. Pretty sure that was the first time I tried adding an edit. What's up, dudes? It's Yub, and this is part four of Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, let's play by Yub. Cool. I think I have a better mic there than I actually use now, so that's kind of sad. I was scared to start, like, a scary game, but I also wanted to play, because the people that I watch, like PewDiePie, Tobuscan, they're playing scary games, and I liked scary movies, but I was scared to play the games. I don't know why that does, that doesn't make sense, but that's just what I was. So I was like, I'm gonna make myself. And I remember being so scared of this game and it's not scary. Please use a cover from now on, thanks. Microphone sound a little bit better. Okay, just a little bit. But this game is not scary. Like, this is like a flash game. Like people give me crap all the time now, like yep, you never finish games, but look at the way it used to be. Every day, look at this. What would you actually do? If I started a game and I played it 17 days in a row, these kinds of gameplay video series and stuff actually did pretty good back then. Now it's like everyone's so ADD. They don't want you to do the same thing. I ain't clicking on a part two. If I hadn't seen part one, I ain't clicking on part two. And you know what? Even if I have seen part one, I might still not click on part two. It's rough out here. It's wild. So yeah, Ebe right here. Oh my gosh. If you like me and you haven't watched this series, Ebe, Please go watch it. I would say it's probably one of my favorite games I ever played on this channel. It was magical for me. I'd never played an RPG horror game before. The music, the, the art style, everything. Oh my gosh. I loved it. I wish I could erase my brain and go play it again. New Yub Plays intro. This is when I really started to try and learn how to edit stuff. And I'll tell you right now, if you are like, man, I wish I could do YouTube, but I don't know how to edit. Just Google it. Everything you need to learn is on YouTube for free. I learned every single thing I know about editing, cameras, lighting, sound, literally all of it from Google and YouTube. I didn't go to school for it. It's not like I was just born knowing how to edit. You just Google and learn it. Just Google one thing at a time. Like look at this little Mario right here. I didn't know how to do that before I made this. I just learned it. It's called keyframes. What are keyframes? Google it. So naturally I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make an intro. 20 seconds, that ought to be fine, right? No one wants to watch your 20 second intro. I was so proud of this. Oh, look at him spin. He goes, he goes to the moon and then Yub Place comes out of the moon, okay. Hello and welcome to- Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've talked about before about being comfortable on camera and how it takes a while to get used to being on camera. And I'm a really stupid, I act stupid in real life. You know, like when you're around your friends and you're just doing something stupid to make them laugh, you're like, <laughs> but you wouldn't necessarily do it in public. Some people would, I wouldn't. I mean, unless I'm trying to make someone laugh who I think might get it. It's just so weird trying to be yourself, your goofy self on camera because this feels strange. I'm used to it now, I've done it for years, but the first few months, it's like, ugh, this is so weird. And here is a perfect example of how awkward it can be. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Yub Plays. I don't think I've ever seen a less likable thing in my life. Today we're playing a game called Shadow Warrior. Let's play it right now. Here we go. Hold on, I guarantee if this is a fisheye, yeah, this is a fisheye camera. That camera had to be about this far away from my face. Probably a reason I look so uncomfortable there. You can see when I got into the, cause I used to do the thumbnails like this, right? Okay, then I got into the thumbnails that had absolutely nothing to do with what was going on. Here is a Charmander with a katana chasing a little girl. I guarantee you Charmander is not in this video. I did not understand at this time that this is kind of clickbait. I didn't I didn't get it. To me, it was just like, yo, look how crazy I am. Come on in. No, don't do that. One of these was the first time I ever did a green screen. Was it this one? 295 views, by the way, breaking the bank. 
I guarantee you that didn't have 295 views back then. I'm sure that happened over, I mean, since 2014 to 2019, a few people have clicked on it. Uh, a lot of you guys who, who ask me all the time, like, how do I, like, I can't get people to watch my videos and I don't want to make them if nobody's watching. You got to just keep making them because nobody's going to, it's not magic. You just have to keep going. You just have to do it. You'll get better. Focus on getting better at making videos, not getting people to watch your videos. I did a green screen for the first time in this one, I think. Frick. Let me see. Hello and welcome to another episode. I did. Okay. If I remember right, I had hung a blue blanket off my ceiling fan. I'm pretty positive that's what I did. And then I chroma keyed out the blue and you can see it's like kind of not working that good. Durability test. This is the, this is classic. Yup. I liked doing this so much that for a while I considered not being a gameplay channel and just doing stuff like this. I, I could have gone either way. I'm glad I went gameplay because it's easier to make videos every single day with gameplay than it is with something like this. Double. If you haven't seen durability tests, basically I just break stuff in my backyard at the time. Like here's an Xbox and I'm hitting it with a shovel. Why? Content. Today is Tuesday. We're moving on Saturday. All this stuff, going to a new house. It has a backyard. I want to make videos in the backyard. Maybe durability test comes back. I also used to do a lot of um, music type of videos. I don't know if you guys have seen this stuff, but I obviously, like I told you, I recorded bands and I've always been in bands and like played music and I don't do a lot with music on the channel anymore, but I want to. I just can't living in an apartment playing loud music, but we're going to a house. I remember making this one because I had to learn, again, Googling stuff and learning how to do it. I had to learn how to crop the video so that it looks like there's three of me when they're really, I just filmed it three times, you know? He's gonna take it back to the and you can see the crop if you look really close. Watch my hi-hat right here. See how the right side of it doesn't move, it's like cut off. So I'd say right about here, I really think where I started to find my stride and where I really felt like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting this, was around right here, playing these indie horror games. Time for indie. Jones. Okay, Boomer. Like, why? Why do we need that intro? Ah! I remember this game. I'm going out here. This is one of the first like pixel horror games I played. I love pixel horror now. I really feel like it's just like my upbringing of playing these starting out. Getting a little fancy. Look at this face cam border right here. That's all. That's more work than I do now. If I would say when my videos actually started being watchable, as in like. You can watch it without knowing anything about me first. You can watch it and, and it's not the worst thing you've ever watched. I'd say it's right around here. Five Nights at Freddy's 1, The Forest, like these little, this was when it started getting okay. I was obsessed with intros. I made so many. I have a folder. Look at this. Let me show you. In my intros folder, there are 137 items. Now, a lot of them are like, like variations on each other, but... I have made so many intros in my life. Look at this one. Why'd I make that? All right, that looks like Pac-Man right there on the left. I'm just- This is when out. I started Eat this. You can tell, for me, the most important thing with editing is the pace of a video. Like the pacing between jokes, between things I'm saying getting rid of the dead spot or the spot where nothing interesting is happening. Now, some people enjoy slower paced videos. I'm not saying this is better. I'm saying this is what I like. And you can really tell this is when I kind of came into understanding how to keep that pace and chasing that feeling that I like. A freaking cave if they were just going to murder me. Huh? All right. That looks like Pac-Man right there on the left. I'm just gonna point that out. Eat this. Give me this. What is that? Nothing. <sighs> the ice bucket challenge. I remember this because I, I put like two huge bags of ice and a bunch of cold water in this trash bag and I strung it up with trash cans and bricks and it took so much longer to do that than I thought it would. Yep, that's cold. I've just tried a lot of stuff. You can tell I'm really ADHD. I, it's like, 
I'm gonna do podcast. I'm gonna do music. I'm gonna do gameplay. I'm gonna do durability tests. I'm gonna do checking the upper. It's like, I wanna do everything. And I do think that that's kind of hurt my channel, but not in the long run. I think in the short term, finding one niche for your channel will help you grow more quickly. But I also think that being variety gives you staying power. People come to like you for who you are and not what you're doing, if that makes sense. Like, there are people on my channel who only like me because I play Tamadachi Life, sure. But I refuse to only play Tamadachi Life because then people who actually like me are gonna stay for other things. And it hurts you in the short run, but it benefits you in the long term. I'm talking so long, 37 minutes, holy crap. But yeah, look, this has gone on a really long time. Oh, I remember this video, hold on. This, I remember this being one of the first videos I was like really proud of. I was proud of the camera, the mic quality, the edits were okay. Like I did some little edits here and there. It's a fun game. Five minutes long, I mean. Get the frick. <clears throat> See? Starting a little edit there, a little swell. I was learning how it worked and I just kept applying new things to every video. I just wanted to take a fun look back at some stuff here together. Oh my gosh, 2000 subs. Q&A. Oh, it takes me back, dude. I don't have time to go through any more of this. I've already been recording 45 minutes. I hope that you enjoyed this, the kind of a look back and you can see that like anybody can do this. These videos were crappy and you just got to keep, I mean, my videos are still crappy. All I'm saying is thank you so much for being here on my channel, sticking with me, allowing me to do what I want to do and what I believe in and not necessarily what you want or you believe in. Just thank you for the support, the positive comments, the game requests. Even you guys know I'm such an a-hole about people requesting games, but if someone's requesting more Tamanachi Life, that means they want to watch me play something which is so cool and I could not have imagined in 2014 being annoyed that people want to see me do something. Like, I could never have imagined that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, all 500,000 of you. I know 500,000 people aren't gonna watch this, but those of you who clicked on it, thank you. If you're not here, thank you anyways. I love you so very, very much. You guys are amazing, and I cannot wait to hit a million. I won't even say if, I will say when, because I'm not quitting. I don't care with the COPPA stuff coming up, fingers crossed. Either way, I'm not quitting. Good luck getting rid of me. Delete my channel, I'm starting a new one. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here for me. If you need advice on YouTube stuff, man, get at me on Twitter. I'm actually pretty responsive on Twitter, at Yubplays, right here, or Instagram. It's also at Yubplays. Leave me a comment. Let me know how long you've been on the channel for. I don't care if you're new or old. I just want to know. I can't wait to see this next chapter. Moving to the new house. I'm having a kid in the first half of next year. Like, I have grown and changed so much while I'm on this platform, and it's just crazy. It's crazy to look back and see, like, I'm still the same guy, but I've shifted. Oh my gosh, I'm about to go on a whole nother tangent. I love you guys. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep the chin up, work hard, and believe in yourself. And as always, have a bye five. I got more old videos. Let me know if you want me to do this again.